A very warm welcome to Dr. Kasturi Rangan, sir. Uh, it is our great honor and privilege to have you within us in the Bengal Chamber of Commerce Annual Education Conclave 2020. And we cannot thank you more for giving us your precious time and wisdom. So as we, as Sanjari said, before we proceed for your keynote address, I am honored and delighted to read the citation for the induction into the Bengal Chamber of Commerce Hall of Fame 2020, sir. Allow me to read the citation. With deep appreciation and respect, the Bengal Chamber of Commerce and Industry is proud and privileged to induct Padda Division, Dr. Krishna Shami Kastri Rangan in the Hall of the Fame of Bengal Chamber of Commerce and Industry for his untiring contribution in the fields of education and scientific research. Sir, the people owe you a deep debt of gratitude for spearheading the national education policy with a visionary approach to learning and enabling excellence in education with a special focus on vocational education and training from a younger age. One cannot also, sir, forget your contributions in the field of science and technology. Under your leadership as the chairman of ISRO, India Space Program, witnessed several major milestones, including the successful launching and operalization of Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, PSLV, as well as GSLV, among just many of your other achievements. Today, we wish you a long life and happiness in the years ahead. And we are so privileged to have you in the August Company as a member of the Bengal Chamber of Commerce Hall of Fame 2020 today from Calcutta, October 09, 2020. Thank you very much, sir, for this. Thanks for joining us, sir. Uh, first of all, let me say how privileged and touched I am by the decision of the Bengal Chamber of Commerce and Industry, particularly Mr. B.B. Chatterjee and Dr. Subarno Bose and yourself and many of his bearers of this institution for conferring on me a very unique honor, that of being admitted to the Hall of Fame. I am so delighted to be a part of this third annual Convocation Conclave 2020, organized by the Education Committee of the BCC and I. From being India's oldest financial institution, established in the 19th century, the Bengal Chamber of Commerce and Industry, over the years has evolved and diversified its role in catalyzing business growth, infrastructure, and industry development, promoting innovations, supporting startups, and thus furthering socio-economic progress. The mission of BCC and I in this 21st century contemporary world full of challenges is being carried under the form of visionary leadership of Mr. Baby Chatterjee. I'm happy to note that among its multifaceted initiatives, BCC and I is deeply involved in education and has been a powerful enabler when it comes to policy advocacy in education sector in the state of West Bengal. I would like to take this opportunity to compliment Dr. Subarno Bose and other members of the Education Committee of the BCC and I and organizing this timely annual education conclave with objective to share and exchange best practices in educational strategies for the benefit of the next generation, which is the need of the hour. Keeping in mind the erudite nature of tonight's audience, I shall speak of the broad contours of the national education policy 2020 in the next few minutes 
available to me. And that is what I have been told by the organizers that I should concentrate on the national education policy's broad contours. I will really try to emphasize the principles behind the formulation of this policy because it's difficult to give all the details of the operational detail, neither is it our work in the context of the policy formulation. And also I would like to get in, I won't be able to get into all the dimensions of the policy. The previous speaker did raise some very interesting questions. I would say that whatever is the time available and the time is not much for me at this stage, uh, we are, what we try to do is we can respond to a few, one or two or three questions, but more importantly, certainly we can correspond and converse on this particular issue. So wherever you need further clarifications or further discussions regarding the policy, certainly it's a very welcome thing for us to do together.